I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make sure in editing it's not that loud. <laughs> That's supposed to be. Anyway, we are out of comics right now, so we just want to we talk are. about some okay. news. Okay. Question: Do you guys think Deadpool two is gonna be as good as the first one? Do you think it has the capacity to? Apparently, the the first script had him have a son. It was set five years later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just an interesting factoid. Do you think that they reinvented that with the advent of the kid in this? I don't know. With the new X Men <laughs> that has like the fire and I'm stuff. Pretty sure it's another story though. Yeah, but I mean, they probably could have spliced together certain things from it. Well, right? I'm pretty sure that's why the director, who was it, T.J. Miller? T.J. Miller. He left the first one because he wanted to do a story, and Ryan Reynolds wanted to do a comedy. Oh, okay. so you know, that makes sense. Hmm. I don't it think that would be good, sense. though. Honestly, with the son, like, do you think the second one will be better? Like, no. it, typically sequels never are. Like, they're tough, man. Yeah. They're tough. It's almost like you know what the issue I have with some sequels. Do you ask? Do you guys think Deadpool two will be better than the first one? Comment away as we talk. Yeah, yeah if you can find this for all. What? There's actually ten people watching right now. Oh my now. god! What is wrong with you? Why would you have no faith in these people? Uh, anyways, so my Eleven. thing, I look at it like I look at um, what was oh. it? Kingsman. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, I think what the problem with Kingsman is that it, that it tried to shove in a lot of what it did in the first movie, but it, it, there wasn't enough time between the first movie and the second movie to develop the nostalgia of it. Mm-hmm. So they're like, let's That's throw totally the same cool. things, let's add something extra to it, but we have an And earned... a lightsaber. No lightsaber. The whip. Was that? That wasn't a lightsaber, though. Okay, it just glowed blue and cut through things. Who had the whip? The cowboy guy. Which one? The oh, the lasso. Yeah, he had a lasso. Okay, a same shit. Different no, series. it's very it's different. Completely different. Very but different. That's okay. Okay, um, it was a cool quick. So I, I, quick. I'm, I don't know. I look, what way? Obviously, the did you see the David Beckham, uh, trailer thing that came out? No, no. So I don't watch always for movies. Anymore. It's not really a trailer, but in the first movie, Deadpool said that. Uh, something about David Beckham being beautiful, but he sounded like uh, um, a hamster mouth sex to squirrel or something like that. And so what it was, was David Beckham at his house watching Deadpool and watching that line. And then Deadpool coming to his door and apologizing for that. <laughs> and it was really cool. And I didn't I expect David that. Beckham to do that. I give him props for that. He probably made a bunch of money. Oh, for sure oh, he for did. Sure. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I- I'm hoping it's, I'm just hoping it's as good as the first one. My issue with the first one... I just hope it's memorable. Yeah, of course you do. That's all you care about. Um, I just hope it's memorable. Dis- I had a discussion with this with a friend of mine, and you <laughs> iGen generation, you just Where's care I-Gen? about... It's what you guys are. He actually looked it up for me. Um, what does it stand for? Whatever your generation is. generation? No. No, like iPod, uh, iPad, I, um, iGen. It, yeah, because we're mille- I'm, a yeah. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I was cut not. off. I don't think so. If you're a millennial, then you're right on the cutoff. Julian Mitchell 5 says, In Infinity War, Tony makes Peter an official... You've already asked this question, man. That was cool. What was the question? Just let him ask a question. Avenger, I thought that was cool. It took us like 30 minutes of it. We'll read it. I thought that was cool at first, but then realized, doesn't that diminish or lessen Peter's good and mature decision on not joining them in Homecoming? No. He was, he was, he was striving to be one before. We've already talked about this in depth before but it'll take too long so we'll come back to it if we just have time. no you can answer quickly i don't think it does because he's been it trying does. to the whole time yeah you think it does well yeah because he tries the whole movie this is like, i don't need this and then he comes back like okay it doesn't matter at the moment tony didn't to be know fair it's not like that. he kind of accepted the role he kind of said you're an avenger now it's not like t- peter was like begging him to be so it's kind of like all, all it was was tony stark it was more just of a saying joke, here honestly. you go it wasn't like he's what did you take it as i think it was more of a joke did you I see spider-man it. homecoming I, I, yes i did okay. see that one yeah yeah i I honestly like the with with Spider Man as a character. I just and I know you're gonna hate this, Anthony, but I just I couldn't care. Like I, I just I I didn't really you know I was more interested in his aunt. Marissa well, Tomei. Marissa Tomei is a gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> woman. But 